Hello there everybody, this is Peril. Uh, today I'm kind of doing a, a half and half video. I'm showcasing a new program slash plugin for the PSP and I'm of course showcasing um, a fight. So I'm gonna post uh, an annotation link uh, somewhere at the bottom so that uh, people who don't want to listen to this part about Remote Joy can uh, skip right ahead to where I actually start playing. But um, I did want to make this video to show off the new features of what I made. So, for those of you unfamiliar with uh, Remote Joy Lite, essentially it is the newer version, or rather the modernized version of Remote Joy, which is a program which lets you record video and uh, yeah, video from your PSP via the USB cable. Uh, it's pretty interesting invention, dealy, uh, for those of us who want to record without needing any sort of you know. TV tuner card or anything, which I am looking into, by the way. But I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to get this working properly. So, Monster Hunter Portable Third has some issues with um, Remote Joy Lite in its current state. So I downloaded its source code and or for version 0.19, and I was going around it. Uh, saw a lot of things that I kind of wished were done better. So uh, you know, rather than sitting there and hoping that um, a kind or a kind uh, a kind decides to do something, which I'm not sure when is going to be. Like he's the last post he made is in 2009, uh, which of course you know I don't blame him for. It's possible he's got you know real li real life issues, and that's completely understandable. But um, so yeah, I decided to take it into my own hands. And for those of us who do use Remote Joy, uh, I've decided to. Uh, do what I can to help the community here, which is actually kind of my first foray into uh, PSP development and all that sort of thing. Which isn't really PSP development because the only PSP part of this is the uh, plugin. And it was just kind of modifying his source a little bit. So, yeah, as you can see, um, this is indeed recorded via Remote Joy Lite. And no, I'm not talking about Remote Joy L-I-T-E, I'm talking about Remote Joy L-I-G-H-T, which is my version of Remote Joy. Uh, it is based off of Remote Joy Lite, as it says 0.19, because the 0.20A source isn't released, which kind of is lame, but that's alright. So with this version, I did a couple of little improvements to the, uh, the back end. Most notably, I got rid of Direct3D and just uh, threw in OpenGL, rather. Uh, it was mostly a personal preference, but it also allowed for apps to work better with it, which is what I'm using to record. And I completely tore out the capture crap. Um, I didn't mind the capturing, but it had so many bugs that it would be worth redoing it in a different API than uh, trying to work with this. So That's why I pulled that out. Um, I also completely uh, made it in proper English and all sort of thing. And the biggest change I can see is in the bottom left there is, uh, and you can hear my keys being clicked here, it's instant. Uh, yes, this is a little overlay which um, shows people watching, uh, you know, what keys are being pressed. This must, this is a very, oh yeah, you see I got Joy Sends running there. Um, this is a very important tool, especially for people who make Let's Play videos, I would assume, because they could, excuse me, it's a thing with me is when I start talking, I start yawning, so uh, yeah. Uh, as you, so it would help Let's Players, um, so they can, uh, you know, show people how they're doing their controls wise and things like that. So, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it gets a nice reception. Um, it's just uses image files. Uh, they were based off of an SVG that I found on, off Google. You can replace the image files if you want. You know, you can do what you wish with that. I'll make sure it's fully customizable. In the future, but for right now, uh, yeah, there it is. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's not, it's mildly transparent, hopefully enough that you can still see it, but hopefully enough that it won't get in the way. Again, that's going to be customizable depending on whatever game you're playing or whatever. Um, I had it really low before and it was hard to see the, the overlay. Uh, yeah, and by changing the uh, address that Remote Joy uses internally, I was able to get Monster Hunter Portable 3rd to work with uh, relatively no issues. Which is pretty cool, because I've always wanted to play this game without having it crash every time I change areas. So as people can see, I can actually change uh, areas without it uh, crashing on me. So, um... 
yeah, uh, again, to prove that it will not crash and that this is, you know, a real game, I'll go fight some stuff. <sighs> Excuse me, this has been a long day working on this. I'm not kidding, I was working on this, um, I started on this last night, actually. Right now, uh, as I'm recording this, it's 9.47 p.m., uh, September 3rd, 2011. And I was literally working since last night around 2 a.m. I, I, I mean, I slept at 2 a.m., but that's when I downloaded the source and and said to myself, you know, okay, we're going to fix this, and we're going to get it working, and we're going to make this something people actually... Uh, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to say people want to use, but something that is a lot more user-friendly, especially to us people in America who uh, waded through the Japanese program without knowing that there was an English version. Oh, excuse me. And uh, once we found the English version, we were like, oh, record videos. So yeah, now that we can record videos, I forgot to get cool drinks. Um, I'm very, very happy. And so far, with the result, uh, I, I haven't actually tested the uh, the overlay down there, like in the game while I'm fully playing. Uh, obviously, I won't be looking down. I'll, I'll be looking at my PSP screen probably. So. Um, Oh, cool drink is what I need. Yeah, I'll be looking down at my PSP screen when we're actually in the game. Uh, well, I mean, I'll look up to see if it's working and all that, but I gotta look down at the PSP screen to be able to tell uh, what's going on. Because it's uh, there's a little bit of a delay. The remote light always had a little delay. Um, I'm in the Type 1 transfer mode, which um, a lot of people don't know actually the types, which I'll, I'll annotate the types clearly in the, uh, the uh, settings. Basically one of them is just a complete copy, uh, which often actually is quite laggy. Type 1, from what I can tell, is sort of like a... Uh, is 0555 in ARGB format, so you got... Um, 20 bytes, basically, of uh, a video data, and it's compressed quite nicely. So it doesn't look nice if you're watching a video on the PSP. It'll, you'll see a lot of, like, if you see any gradients, um, it'll, you know, look really weird. <laughs> By weird, I mean it'll look kind of like JPEG compressed. So as far as I can tell, everything is working. Um, regardless if this video ends up working or not, I'm still going to upload it. Uh, so if you get any cutoff endings, or if I don't end up explaining actually the end game here, then uh, chances are it crashed, and yeah. Keep in mind that the crashing is just related to this game. Uh, I did not introduce any crashes, specifically, so don't go blaming me for game subs. Okay, good. See, this is where it used to crash, was when it was loading. It was a beginning quest and then crash. My estimation is that, uh... Monster Hunter uses one of those addresses, or the default address, built in for something. I don't know what, and it's going to be impossible to tell, really, so I don't know. Uh, it's similar to what I have it set to. Excuse me, what I have the address set to is I have the top address. I don't know if you need both or just one or two. I haven't really checked yet, but the, the first address I have it set to the top of the list, and the bottom address I have it set to the bottom of the list. And uh, basically, it works fine for this game, but in the uh, the cross media bar UI, the background image is completely corrupted. So I'm guessing like half of it is corrupted. Sorry. So it's kind of I'm guessing that that's what that it uses that for storage of some sort. So yeah, it, I think it's just a matter of finding what what um, addresses work fine for your specific game. I found this address worked great for uh, Monster Hunter, so I'm going to leave it there, and we'll see if we can finish this match without it crashing. And uh, thus ends the technical portion of me introducing Remote Joy Lite as an alternative to uh, uh, r Remote Joy Lite. <laughs> I'm naming this one. <coughs> I'm naming it um, uh, version 0.21p. I'm always going to prefix the p just in case the versions overlap. Okay, now ends the uh, technical, techno babble.
which I'm sure is interesting to some people, but... Now begins the epic fireballs in the face. Da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, I started. I, well, I am using the switch axe right now. Um, I'm trying to get used to some of the different weapons that I never really use. Obviously, longsword is my number one, uh, dual sword is my number two. And uh, I'm hoping to make switch axe my number three. And uh, great sword my number four. And then bow as uh, bow for uh, ah, bow for um, ranging, which I don't do very often, uh, to be honest with you. But I'll show one of you guys uh, uh, my ranging skills, which is not to speak in English terms. Ah. Yeah, so I bet a bunch of you monster hunter. Um, gurus are going to be watching my button presses and saying, you don't have to hold that button down, or what are you pressing them for? Uh, it's just something I learned over the years, and it's just the way I play, so... If you don't like it... I thought that, I thought that was a car alarm, that... Do it, do it, do it, do it. I was going to look outside, but then I realized it was just a... Come down here. Oh, that was close. Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, thank God. The only thing about the little display down there, um, yeah, for if you skip the techno babble part, I added an uh, overlay at the bottom left there to show you my button presses as they happen. It's completely real time, like I'll press X rate. Yeah. See? Just so you guys can see. Oops, I accidentally searched a file and uh, got ran into. Uh, the only thing is the analog stick may be a little hard to see. That's just the way I coded it. That's not, uh, it has no dead zone right now. And, um, it's, it's just the way I drew it. Uh, the image of it is kind of hard to, to spot anyway. So, uh, I'm going to have someone make some real images rather than this SVG I got here so that it'll look better. Scaled down to whatever, that size. It's kind of cool. It, it's the perfect spot for it in Monster Hunter as well. Oh, for those of you unfamiliar, this is the uh, the Rathalos. He is kind of the uh, the staple monster of the first Monster Hunter game ever, and he kind of sticks. St uh, throughout the series, they've kind of removed a lot of monsters, um, just because they, you know, in the new every generation they kind of get rid of some stuff and add new stuff in. This is one of the monsters that stayed through every generation so far, and I'm happy because he's cool. And the other monster that stayed is Diablos, and uh, he's not cool. I hate him. I wish he would die. <coughs> not literally, though. I actually like him as a monster. He's cool. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, so I should probably talk a little more about game semantics because a lot of you don't even don't uh, have ever even heard of any Monster Hunter games, so you might not be familiar with this. Um, the objective of, th of this mission, as you can see here, is I have two guys to kill. Um, when there's multiple monsters, generally there are multiple different monsters. <coughs> you hunt them consecutively and not at the same time. So basically, once this guy dies, there'll be a time limit, and then the next guy will come in. As you can see, he's a, a dash right now rather than a number. Pulling my Ethernet cord. <clears throat> so yeah, the Switch Axe has two attack modes. Uh, it's sor the Sword mode, which is uh, awesome, and Axe mode. That's why they call it Switch Axe. Get it? Because it's an axe and it switches. Sink. Dodge. Sink. Oh, Shizen Nigen Nigen. 
sorry if I offended any German people there. Oh god. I should probably dodge, I'm on fire. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, it, it, it's kind of unfortunate because I, I recorded uh, two matches of high rank guys twice and lost them near the end of the match because it crashed. Luckily I figured the crash thing out, so nothing should crash anymore ever. I can get footage anywhere in the game and no crashes, so I'm good. But, what's he gonna do? Yeah, and I had this huge talk about uh, the Switch X, and I kind of don't want to say it again. It's kind of like repeating yourself after, <clears throat> like, you say some, say a re really long phrase to someone, and you know in your head that they're, they're not going to hear you, and they're going to turn around to you and say, what? Then you have to repeat what you just said. I know everyone's had that happen at one point, but that's basically how I feel, but re reiterating it. But <clears throat> basically, I was kind of trying to um, apply logic to video gaming in general, the switch axe and the, the coatings. More or less because the coating also applies to the bow, and I was thinking, like, what exactly is a coating? Is it is it like a literal coating, as in, like, they dip the arrows in the coating and then, you know, shoot the arrows? See, but then I got thinking about it, because if you weigh the look of the switch axe, it was just a coating. Then logically, the coating should only come off once you hit them. Like, you know, if you apply paint to a stick, essentially, if you swing the paint, the swing the swing the stick in the air, <clears throat> paint's not just going to get stuck in the air unless you know it flies off. And I mean, it's still going to be on the stick. So when so it doesn't make sense for like you see here, the coating there at the top left goes down when I'm attacking. You can see it kind of flashes red. So then I was thinking, the coating's not so much um, not so much a liquid as it is an energy that gets dispersed through the blade. <clears throat> Yes, Mercy, I know. I'm talking a lot. I know. I don't have any more water either. How am I going to keep talking? Sorry. Um, so yeah, as, as more of an energy than it is a uh, a coating. And then I got thinking, you know, that kind of makes sense in terms of this weapon because it's kind of like an energy that would get stuck in a slot or whatever. And then you press a trigger or something and it would come out. But for bows, it doesn't really make sense. It's kind of one coating per arrow. They're not they're not technically the same, but they use the same name, so it's confusing. Um Yeah, it's with this, once your coating runs out, you have to reload. I find that concept a little weird. Let's see if I can uh, show you this show you guys this totally real fact that I'm spewing here. I don't want to kill him, I just want to fire in the air. See, reload. You, see, you go, have to go back to axe mode, and then you hit to arc, and then... Clack, he puts it in that little slot there. So, see, that kind of goes, and it refills the bar. That kind of explains that it would be some sort of energy. But, <clears throat> it doesn't make sense to me, then, how it reloads automatically. Like, energy has to be created from something, you know? Is there a generator inside the Switch X? What would run the generator, you know? Like how the hell does it just get... I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me that they would have reloading if you just put the weapon away and it regens. I, I know reloading obviously is faster. It'll put your bar up like halfway entirely. Ow. So, you know, obviously that has its advantages, but I don't know, it still didn't really make sense. Chances are this is going to desync or something, so... As long as I don't lose all of it, I'll put it on anyway and try to manually resync it. Oh yeah, this guy's almost dead, eh? Oh, nice. Oh, he's gonna fly away though, isn't he? Yeah, there he goes. Nice try. Ah! Give me that. Ah! Did I not bring the shock tra- Okay, I did. Whew. It's just not sorted. <clears throat> yeah, so something that's a little weird about this, um... The Switch Axe. Uh... I, I like it, but... The thing is, I'm not used to the, the way the axe works. The comboing. Uh, here, I'll demonstrate for a second. You see, if I keep tapping triangle, as you can see down the list there, infinite combo. That's great. But see, with the, the long sword, I'm used to having to kind of switch between circle and uh, triangle. 
Um, I don't know, it's just weird because if I press triangle, attack, circle, then I can't... Uh, tapping circle, nothing's happening. It's just the way the the comboing works, you know? I have to switch to triangle and then go between this, and you know, da 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 ba 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 So, I don't know, I just find it weird that it would stop it there, not switch to something else, but whatever, they have their reasons. I'd better drink a cool drink for a uh, melt to death up there. I better uh, trap uh, Mr. Rathy before he. Uh... Oh, it's good that he's asleep. That way I can just kind of sneak in there and. Come on, kitties. What? Where's he going? I didn't know that they. Well, I know that they get up from their sleep, but I didn't know that they uh, would move after that. Where is he going? Go back to where I go. Oh wait, actually, if he saves her, that's good because then I can just have him run into that trap. Yeah, if I go near those sides, it'll burn me. It'd be funny if he walks into the trap and I'm not even there. Zoom in. Ah! Where are you going now? Fuck. Wasted trap just sitting there. Oh, wait, he's in this area. They move pretty quick. I'm not used to him moving this quick. Usually he waits there for like a minute before I get in there. I should have brought a smoke bomb too. Oh, good as eating. Oh, jeez, I thought it was in the fireball. Come here. Stand here, kitties. Piss. Ah. Ah. Piss. Oh, right now I gotta. He regained some of his health, so there we go. I didn't kill him, I just. Uh... See, that? the bubbles mean he's asleep. I just hurt him enough for him to uh, get trapped. Which is a feature they added in Monster Hunter Try. I could I probably could have thrown a third trank bomb too, but I like to, I like to save those. Just kicking that after off the ass. Okay. So yeah, this is another uh, another game of guess guess the pronunciation. Yay! Uh, I'm guessing. Well, actually, it, these two are kind of obvious in the way that like everyone kind of knows their name, and Agnector doesn't really have an alternative. Pronunciation. I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's Agnector, 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 something like that. Oh, nope. whoops! Too early. Gotta wait for him to disappear. Yeah, I kind of thought they would have wanted to keep it secret when the monster has arrived. But uh, basically, you can check the quest info and just see when it turns to a zero. It means he's there. But uh, you know. I. Actually, this is kind of cool. You guys get to see two monsters that I haven't fought yet. Or, you guys, you guys get to see two monsters that I have fought, but you guys haven't seen yet. Hello. Ah. Oh, I do have smoke bombs. But this guy, this guy right here. Oh, great, now he's gonna... Don't you beat me! Oh! This guy um, is kind of like a lava monster type deal. Don't you move away. Get up. Oh, I was like a second away from doing what I wanted to do. He's basically a big version of these little guys right here. See them? This guy? This is a uh, Yukonlos, or Yukonlos, 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 do 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 For any Ramstein fans out there. Uh, yeah, that's the big version of that guy. It's hard to see the resemblance. Okay, right now you can see it, see? Then the thing about this guy is that if he doesn't go into the uh, lava very often, 
his armor stays uh, burnt, like black there, which basically means you'll bounce off it. Uh, your attack won't do too much damage and you'll break your weapon sooner. But the thing is, that also causes him to go un underground and do this. Trust me when I say you do not want to be right in front of that. But I'm going to anyway. Ha ha! Monk, 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 monk. Yeah! I am happy with this result. Yeah, you can break all of the lava parts off of him. Um, it's definitely when they turn black. I don't think you can break them when they turn black, but you can still do damage to them. Basically, you just have to get him near the lava and he'll... Uh... Sorry, my cat's jumping. She liked to pee in my bed, and I thought she was going to do something there. Um... I used all three of them? Holy crap. Okay. I suppose I can use flash bombs. Yeah, this volcano place is pretty cool. I, it's just so bright. It's actually... The colors are a lot different on the... Yeah, I already mentioned that. Never mind. I'm not going to reiterate things I've already said before. Is he eating? Oh. Do I have the heat drainer? No, I don't. Oh. That's weird. I'm not used to him eating. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't even hit him. I'm not used to them. Oh, there. Nice. Nice. That is what I call a good thing. And I didn't think he would eat so quickly, but I guess he has low rank, so. I'm gonna miss, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> oh, come on. I forgot you can't hit him with this attack. Nice. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, um... <laughs> nice. Let's work on his belly now. Get the crit bounce. Yeah. He did a critical amount of low damage. Uh, let's see. Jesus. Jesus, hamburgers and sauce. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, I really hope this sinks up. Now that I'm using fraps to record, and I just realized that I always have problems with fraps sinking. But, uh, I should, should be alright. I think I fixed that a while ago. Oh, I thought I dodged right into him. Yeah, he'll also go through the ceiling if there is one. There is one here, but... He'll dig through the ceiling and then come back out at you. What's he doing? I don't know if you can cut this guy's tail off or not. I haven't actually checked on the, uh, the weak gear anymore. Chances are you can, or you can break it at the very least, and you can break all these little pieces there. Yeah, I like the sword portion better, honestly, but the only thing is you're so damn slow when you walk with it. And I suppose I can just dodge, but I don't know. It's... Oh, and if you <clears throat> I know a lot of you are wondering why after every, like, attack I put my weapon away. Um, it's... it's kind of a necessity in this game if you're not too, you know, veteran that you know everything that's going to happen in every single moment in the day. It's it's kind of like an extra little seal of seal, but it's kind of like an extra defense for me to in case he's going to do something like this and I don't have the time to dodge. I kind of learned it from using the long sword uh, and the dual swords. Uh, uh, dual swords actually you don't really have to because you, you do run pretty fast and if you and if you're in demon mode or whatever you can do this really cool like really quick dodge. But with the switch axe you're goddamn slow. So I'm gonna try and bust his. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's starting to uh, harden. <laughs> Roar! Hold! Oh. Ah!
So yeah, I'm gonna make an effort to talk more. Um, most of the time, I just don't have really anything interesting to say. That's the only that's the only reason why I don't talk a lot in my videos. I had this really good conversation going with, well, I should say myself because I'm talking to myself right now. But in the last in the video that I lost because I uh, was talking about the Switch X and uh, lost all that, and I had the one continuous thing going about it. But whatever. Just kind of in a euphoric state right now, knowing that I got this working without it crashing, and that little, you know, overlay. I got OpenGL working in this. I got a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's just, it's, it's, it's really satisfying to know you've done something that actually works, you know. And I'm gonna send this off to Dash Hacks, and hopefully I can get some cool, uh, cool responses and get known in the PSP community as someone that did something good, you know. But uh, yeah, I remember saying that on Facebook that, well actually you guys don't have me on Facebook, but um, I had said that the Purple Blood Roth video was probably going to be my last because I kept getting crashes. But uh, if you did hear that, uh, unhear it because this is not going to be my last. Um, I'm going to record the videos that I lost, which were pretty interesting actually. I fought two monsters in high rank and I was kicking their faces in and then I lost it. Oh! Oh! See if I can get us. Wow, that was horrible. Hey, okay, nice limping. The old shot trap out. Oh, I thought that was. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's blow this popsicle sting in. First I know he goes to 10 to sleep. Yep. Something I always forget to do is bring pickaxes to uh, mine these areas here. You get the best stuff here. Okay, he's sleeping. Go, 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 go! dun 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 What? Zara is going to come up and, uh, there we go. Oh. Hoping he doesn't move, but. I should probably think about getting Trapper or something. Go, go, go! So I can put, the oh, don't shoot hit me. Embarrassing enough when I get hit by a high rank. Uh, oh, come on! Yeah, the environments in this game are really, really nice. <clears throat> See that kind of uh, polygon oddness going on in his tail there, I noticed. Don't go away from the trap. Go away from the trap. So break the trap if he lands. If he uh, lands right on it with that. Oh, I got him. Out of my way. Out of my way. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Whew. Whew. Oh, guys. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, okay. Thank God, I recorded this entire video without a crash. I am so happy. Literally, I just kind of said that in a very nonchalant way. So yeah, guys, this was uh, Rathalos, Agnactor, and the introduction of uh, Remote Joy Light with that's spelled with a GHT version 0.21p. I did that because of rats. Yeah. Um, after some a little bit of customization and more settings, I'm gonna sort out the UI a little bit at the settings. And uh, I will make a release. I will send it off to Dash Hacks and let them. Uh, I'll let them. I'm not really. I don't know the PSP scene a lot. 
I don't know any of the scenes really, so I'm hoping that Dash Hacks can help me out with all this and just kind of, you know, give it to them and let them spread it by word of mouth or whatever. It's like a little cuddle ball. A little cuddle ball of burnt lava. Crusted lava. Woo. What did I get for that? Oh, you get it from this guy. Okay. Right, I already, I already knew that. I already knew that, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. Come on. I haven't noticed my my button mashing habits until I uh, can see them now, very clearly. Anyway, as you can see, loading and it uh, won't crash hopefully. But uh, yeah, see. So yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did. I hope you watched the whole thing. Uh, I spent a lot of time, time and effort, uh, doing this, doing, actually coding a lot of, uh, recoding a lot of Remote Joy lights. It's just getting OpenGL as a render. So uh, yeah. Hope you guys like this and spread it around. I will uh, see you guys later.